Hey guys, we're back for part two. Nobody knows because you're living your life to your best. And then number nine is laser focus. So I know a lot of people with ADHD, when we're harnessing that hyper focus, we can accomplish a lot more faster. And I would say more intensely with this superpower. This is one of my favorites. I do call it hyper focus. They call it super focus here. One of the readers wrote in and said, when I'm playing a particular game, I've been known to look up near the end and say, hey, it got dark. What day is it? And then we try to get him off the video games and take a break, but we definitely let him go ham some days because it's just fun. And then another one wrote in, Buck, see, I can sit down and work on a project and go, go, go. It would take others double the time what I do when my superpower kicks in. And it served me well, especially in emergency situations when acting quickly is critical. But I think it kind of ebbs and flows, right? As we go through different seasons of life, different ages, different like stress levels. And I know I feel like, I don't know about you guys, but I feel like I've taken a lot of stress on over the years. And so now I've had to say no so much more than I ever have at any other point in my life. But it's like when I'm saying no to external things, I'm saying more yes to me. And it doesn't always make sense. Maybe back in the day, it used to make more sense to me why I would say yes and do other things. And now I'm saying more yes to me. And I'm like, why? I don't know, but I, I just keep riding that wave. So I don't know how you guys feel, but it's definitely um, served me in that respect as well. And then number 10, we're looking at endless energy. Speaking of, so when you're hyper-focusing, it does kind of coincide with en endless energy. I will say, even with the fun of all the energy that comes out and the energy bursts, it can be really fun. It, it can feel high, but then it can take you low too. Cause I know I felt that today. I was like, this energy is really annoying. It was annoying myself, but we're the only pe person you can't run away from, right? You can't get away from yourself. So if that energy is getting too much or annoying, it's like you have to kind of figure out how we were brought up. So individuals with ADHD often have hearts of gold and rely on a set of morals to show the way. But I do think it's like subconscious. I think it's just built in. It's automatic when you're really being yourself. And that's what I've learned when I'm being myself. My morals are just built in there. And sometimes when I deviate or whatever, I don't beat myself up anymore because now I understand. And I've learned this through therapy because that sometimes it's like a survival skill if it seems like someone's like, oh my God, I can't believe you did that. Or like, that was wrong. And I'm like, you know, it's a survival skill. In the moment, that was the right thing for me to do to survive and get on to the next thing. Because maybe I've been traumatized this way or that way, or maybe this happened to me. So I can't, it's tough when you feel like, I know I'm speaking for myself, but when you feel like you've done the right thing so much and it doesn't pay off and you're like, well, what's the right thing for me? I think we all know when we're really doing the right thing from within us and there's really no questioning that and then one of the readers I want to read this one from Rebecca my daughter has a strict sense of what's right has no problem telling someone when they're in the wrong and right now as her mom it drives me insane at times but I know it's a true superpower 